Hey there, my name is Kate Vakel. And I'm Bo Sarkey. And welcome, welcome to, to Craft, Craft Beer Fridays. Fridays. episode of the Halloween series. We are finishing up October. Unfortunately, it just goes by way too quickly. We don't get enough time. But once again, we got pumpkin beers and Oktoberfest in the house. First up, we're going to be doing Samuel Adams from Boston, Massachusetts. We have a nice 5.3% awesome, hearty and smooth Mars and Lager. So let me grab my bottle opener here and we're going to go ahead and get started. My favorite part of the whole episode is the actual <laughs> taste. What looks good though? Oh, this does look good. I had my doubts, but we're getting lots today. Okay. Next up, we have our middle pumpkin beer here. Yeah, we also had this one's from Blue Moon. It's a Harvest Pumpkin Wheat uh, Brewer Select from Blue Moon Brewing Company, and they are out of Colorado. Colorado, Colorado. yes. Uh, oh yeah, Golden, Colorado actually. Cool. It's a 5.7 uh, alcohol by volume, real pumpkins and spices. So it claims to be real pumpkin and spices, yeah, but we'll be we'll the see. judge of that. We have one real pumpkin in the mix here. Oh yeah, we gotta. And there it is. Gorgeous. Quick question. Yes. What's a better combination than pumpkins and Star Wars? Um, that, I don't know, as long as it's <laughs> beer. I think beer and pumpkins are the only things you need in Star Wars. We've got all three covered. <laughs> Today's the most festive of them all to end up uh, on our last Friday of October. Last up, we have our Oktoberfest from Sierra Nevada. They are located in Chico, 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 California. They also have Mills Creek River, North Carolina. This is 6%, so we're slowly going up in ABV here. Our Oktoberfest brewed in collaboration with Win Stefan, the world's oldest brewery. So you gotta keep a little a little classic. Oh, and it tells you use bottle opener. So for all you people out there that forget, <laughs> can you smell that? Got it. Oh, these good. are all like so fresh. Man, they smell good. Whew. All right, first up, we have our Samuel Adams here. Nice, um, kind of a ruby red. Let's just go Let's in it. it. I don't Let's even do know. It. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, little uh, tingy, stale kind of. At the start, and it usually comes mm -hmm. on a little bit stronger towards the end. Yes. So this isn't your typical um, Oktoberfest, really, because it has a little bit more flavor than the other ones, but it's still very clean, I guess. And it, like you said at the start, it's got a little bit of a... You're like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I'm sure through the bottle you, yeah. would, you would start to like a little bit more. Also, you can tell it's getting colder because my lips are very <laughs> chapped. <laughs> very chapped. I'm like, this is so good. This one's actually got a little bit of an irony taste to it. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yes. That's a good way to put it. Hey, kind maybe of, uh, blood. blood. Yeah, I got a little Man, blood mixed in there. looking at the color oh. here. I'm just throwing that out there. All right, I think it's time to move on to our middle one. We'll save a little bit of that to go back and compare. Yeah. Of course, now mixing and matching pumpkin beers and Oktoberfest, you kind of, we'll see if they follow each other really well. But this is more of a wheat beer. But they claim to be made with real pumpkins. So totally it different smell? smell, don't you think? Ooh, I'm kind of nervous for this one. It smells like candle-ish. I've got said that through every episode because I'm going to expect it every time. Mm, let's go ahead and try yeah, it. Let's do it. Cheers. Ah! It's got that blue moon consistency. Mm, yeah. All blue moons are just like. Yeah. But the good part about Samuel Adams and Blue Moon is that they usually do come out every year around the same time. So if you're trying to get into the spirit yeah. real quick, these are your probably two main go tos. Not as much pumpkin yeah. as I was expecting. It's very, very low. Has a little bit of dry. What what do you what do you like yourself about October? October style, October fest style beers. Um, mostly because tis the season, <laughs> <laughs> and also because you can only get them usually once a year, and just the unique flavors of the spices and nutmeg and kind of cinnamon flavor, just I, warm. And warm. I do, I do taste the nutmeg. Yeah. More so in this one than the mm -hmm. definitely. So far, they've followed each other yeah. pretty well. Let's move on to the third one here. Good old Sierra Nevada. Totally different look. Wow. Totally okay. Different look. That is really yellow sunshine yeah, that one pretty looks totally, it looks kind of like orange i mean uh, apple juice yes totally different smell it smells like some kind of house oh. cleaner or something this reminded me of something i can't even think what it was it's like a totally different beer not a sour but maybe like a fruit beer D does it not smell like something like a, it, you that you would clean seasonal, with or, yeah or a seasonal air freshener or something you clean with seasonal yes so all right this is Let's confusing this. cheers mm. What do you, would you say that was the most bland out of the three? Yeah, it's kind of maybe a slight lemon flavor, like lemon lime 
It's not all, it's nothing that's going to jump out at you. Um, but think about it this way, 6%. Now that's surprising. It has low carbonation, it's yeah. not very bitter, and it's, I mean, that's just a clean beer These overall. could get away with, these <laughs> yeah. could get away from you quick. Yeah, you could get sneaky with those on. But you know, our first beer, you know, colors oh, compared. Look at that, that's insane. Red to orange, and then let's compare it to this one, and then we'll do another. Uh, it's kind of been going darkest to heaviest yeah. color wise as we get into the higher ABV. These are kind of similar. But we've been just moving up. Okay, now we have to rank them. So this is going to be kind of hard. I might have to go back in. Oh, here it comes, maybe. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. My Almost favorite got part it. of the show. Almost. My favorite part of the show. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have your decision? I don't think I have my decision. Really. I'm gonna have to keep. We're gonna be at the end of these glasses by the time we make our decision. I, I tell you, I tell you what would be last would be the lemon drop kid simply because yeah, I don't think it's uh, on par with with the what we're looking for in October. For sure, it's kind of lacking that Oktoberfest Mars and Lager kind of style. I mean, do you taste any? pumpkin-y, spicy in that at all. It's just, it's not even close to the lager taste. Like no. you said, it's just a lemon drop and house cleaner to me, <laughs> but not like you're gonna die. Could you well. imagine, could you imagine reading that on their website? Mm -hmm. oh, this, check out this beer review. <laughs> lemon drop and house yeah. cleaner. <laughs> like, sorry. And I'm gonna tell you something now, it depends on what kind of beer drinker you are. If you just want a good clean beer that you want to, we call them in the South, getting after it, <laughs> which means trying to get there faster. Mm -hmm. you, that beer would be your beer out of the three. Um, yeah. But if you want to enjoy the, the season and what Oktoberfest is all about, it's probably going to be last. What's your second? I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to lean, just because of my personal taste, yeah. this one, that a close to, okay. that a distant three. I don't think any of these are over about a 6.5 in my, my opinion. Fair. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go out and be like, man, I really got to get those beers those. this season. But, um, yeah, I think I would have to agree. This Oktoberfest is probably going to be my second, at least for today. Um, it is a solid beer, but I just, I kind of like the pumpkin-y mid-range flavor of Blue Moon, which is crazy. Also, I like Belgian White Blue Moon anyway if I'm going to go for a domestic <laughs> beer. So maybe I'm just a little biased. I don't know. Well, the thing about it is, is... Uh it's all your personal taste. And, For sure. And Kate, you know, we are here doing an October fest, so mm -hmm. festiv festivity wise, that one's definitely your beer, the middle one. Yeah. No doubt. And, you know, like I said, these are all probably the easiest to get once the season starts. So we're kind of ending October with easy, accessible beers. Um, but third for me, second, and then first. That's right. In my, my personal opinion, first, very close second, third, distant. Awesome. What is your personal favorite October fest beer? If you oh, had a go ever. To, well, gosh, there's just so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, I, I don't have a favorite. Everyone always asks me what my favorite brewery, my favorite beer, my favorite Star Wars character, and it's just so hard that's, for that's me. I, that's <laughs> that's not even, he is good. He's a good one. Kidding. Yeah, no, that's a good. That's a good choice. Most underused character in movie history, not just Star Wars. Well, either. he he's been brought back in Clone Wars. We got Rebels now. Spoilers. Um, Han Solo. If you haven't seen that, sorry. If you have seen it, then he was probably standing up. <laughs> going, yes! Yeah, that's my boy. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> um, but no, I, I really usually like all of them. There's There's been very rare amount of beers that I just straight up don't finish. Because oh I'm like, if there's a beer being poured, <laughs> this is getting finished. <laughs> like, that's that's my favorite, I, I guess, it. is a beer in front of my face. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> now, do you have a favorite then? That's p favorite pumpkin beer, favorite Man, I, seasonal? I, I don't, but I'm going to tell you, um, some of our local breweries have some unbelievable yeah. seasonal beers. Not calling any of them out by name, but some of the ones we've drank recently, mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a leg up, honestly. O over the big boys, even, you know. I agree. That concludes our review of these three beers. Now we're going to move on to topics of the day. Happy National Pumpkin Day! So obviously we're celebrating with some fake ones and real ones who carved this awesome <laughs> looking one right here. This is my daughter, Lily. She carved this herself, which is Did she name it? We got a name? <sighs> she always comes up with the weirdest names. <laughs> this is Sally. Okay, what's up, Sally? <laughs> Looking good, girl. <laughs> but I have yet to carve any pumpkin, so if you carve a pumpkin, please send me your pictures on Snapchat or Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Give me some ideas of what to do, because every year I've just done Star Wars. So. Uh, one thing I want to throw at you, uh, the new new trend, and I never knew this till recently, they're telling you now to do it from the bottom. I was about to ask you that. I was like, how? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're saying do it from the bottom. That way you can easy access when you carry it now right so you can hold on to this and just do that hmm. 
And I always looked at it the other way. There's like, well, how do you carry it with two hands? So now you just grab it like this. Right. And so then I, I guess if you put the candle, you can mm -hmm. just put it right over it. Yep. Huh. Which I thought was really pretty cool. That's a new yeah. trend that everybody's going to. And I'm still huh. old school. I'm to do it the other way. Same. Yeah, same. But yeah, Sally, she's here. She's rocking it. So Love it. Well, I hope everyone has an awesome, safe, super fun, awesome costume Halloween. Uh, do you have a costume? Are you dressing oh, up yes. as something? Okay, okay. Yes. We'll post some pictures on my Facebook page. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media, all at FickPick08, and subscribe to my newsletter. And don't forget to check out Ariana Beer, because that channel is awesome. Or if you like sports. Average Joe Sports. Average, yeah, right. If you Sports. Ah, I don't really. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but that's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's episode and obviously thank you so much for coming on last minute if you loved it yeah I had to do some change-ups in the in the lineup if you follow me on social media you would have saw someone else's name but we just had to switch it up so Bo of course I appreciate you coming on oh definitely and uh, we'll catch you next time and remember life is too short to drink bad beer <laughs>